Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Montana. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the enforcer. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the plate. Straight punch, that is useful. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Moving to his left. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. And doing work with the jab. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Punch lands. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Heavy kick downstairs. Do not 
He's going after the head. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch the MMA fall and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Could just about do it. Big head kick. Big shot on the feet. Oh, oh continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands the ground and pound strike. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that has caused a swell. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack driver. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Nice block. Targeting the body with the kick now. Counters with a right hand. a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Nice crack there. Lands a solid kick right there. Looking pretty swollen. Our bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Making all these shots count. Nice transition. Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You gotta get your... Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh. That horn sounds oh. means we have reached the oh. end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Second round underway. And the strike lands clean. Right hook to the head block. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Keep your hands up and keep that head moving. Oh, caught him with the head kick. Working off the jab, it's good. Just missing on the high kick there. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh, he hurt him again. Gets back to his feet. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 
Straight right hand now, just misses. He's brutalizing him with the ground and This fight is close to being done. Oh, trying to pass here, but Kembe Matumbo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.